Hey, welcome back to another video going over an example on how to solve integrals using integration by parts the fast way. This is going to save you tons of time on a test if you need to solve an integral in that kind of situation. So for us to be able to use integration by parts the fast way on an integral, one part of the integral must actually tend to zero after successive derivations and the other part must be easy to integrate. So in this case, the trinomial here is the part that has successive derivations that tend to zero and the exponential is easy to integrate. So what we need to do is just write out each part down here. So we have x to the three plus two x plus six, that's gonna be on one side, and then we're gonna have e to the two x dx as our other part. So let's successfully, <laughs> successfully, let's successively derive the one on the left. So the derivation of this, or the derivative of it is just going to be equal to three x squared plus two and then the derivative of that again is just going to be equal to six x and then the derivative of that is six and then zero so successive derivations tend to zero which is what we were looking for and then e to the two x dx is relatively easy to derive because from an integral table which there is one linked in the description below uh, we can see that e to the, the, the integral of e to the a x dx is just equal to 1 over a e to the a x. So that means that the integral of e to the 2x is just going to be 1 over 2 e to the 2x. We're going to take successive integrations of this, so we're going to apply it again, and we're just going to find that this is just going to be 1 over 4 e to the 2x, and then 1 over 8 e to the 2x and then 1 over 16 e to the 2x. I'm going to ignore the arbitrary constant in each integration and I'm just going to add it in later. It's going to make my life easier. And as long as you don't forget to put it back in, it's kind of okay. So the next thing that we have to do is just draw diagonal lines kind of from top left to bottom right, dropping down a line and just alternate plus and minus signs. And then the solution to our integral is just going to be the sum of the products along these diagonals, taking care to apply the plus or minus sign in our summation of each product. So let's actually write that out one term at a time. So the first term here is going to be the product of these two guys and we'll assign it a plus sign in the summation. So the first term here will just be uh, 1 over 2 e to the 2x times x to the 3 plus 2x plus 6. Okay. Uh, the next term here, we're going to give it a negative sign. And we're multiplying two positive terms here. So that negative sign is actually what's going to show up. So we'll have minus 1 over 4 e to the 2x times 3x squared plus two. For the next term, we're going to have a plus sign here. We're multiplying two positive quantities, so we will end up with a plus sign. So we will have plus one over eight e to the two x times six x. And then the last one here, it will have a negative term, you know, a negative sign, and we are multiplying two positive terms. So this will in fact be a negative sign here, or a minus sign, sorry. Uh, so that's just going to be one over 16 e to the two x times 6. Now at this point we want to add in the arbitrary constant which we kind of ignored up here but you would just have a whole bunch of them and you'd have a whole bunch you know popping up and all you know having all of their own unique little terms here and they'd all kind of amalgamate anyways into one single arbitrary constant so it's fine in my opinion uh, to put it here if you're like in a test it's like mathematically a bit annoying to do it this way but I know in a test when you're cramped for time that's why you're even doing this the fast way in the first place is just to drop it here if you forget you're totally screwed and you're, you'll be marked incorrectly but just make sure you actually put in the arbitrary constant at this point so at this point we do need to simplify it a little bit and I think what I would do is just pull out the e to the 2x and also just do some minor simplifications in here in the last two terms and then we can actually pull out 1 over 8 from each term as well, I think, and it's going to give us a slightly cleaner answer. And then we can just distribute each of those constants throughout the uh, expressions. And then finally, just grouping up all of those like terms, we come to our fully reduced answer. So we can drop a nice little green box around that, and this is our final solution to the integral of you know this thing that we started with at the beginning.
So hopefully you found that helpful. It's much faster if you're able to do integration by parts the best way than trying to apply the integration by parts formula like four times in a row. You're just going to get lost in for sure, make some little calculation mistake somewhere along the way, and uh, just waste a bunch of time. So guys, that's how you do integration by parts the fast way. Hopefully you found the video helpful, and I will see you in the next video.